welcome back. We're going to play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars and continue trying to learn Static Rook. Today's proverb is do not run from a fork. We'll see if we can follow this. Good luck. All right, so this diagonal opens. Interesting already. I don't claim to know everything about these openings, but there are many things I want to try. So we're going to try them in one sequence or another. Since here, Bishop Exchange has not been declined, like they've not played um, an opening that would prevent a Bishop Exchange. Uh, I'm trying this move order this time. Um, we're going to protect the king's head with this silver, believing that uh, this is A-OK. -okay. Since, yeah, our stuff's not hanging. So essentially we gained a tempo. Um, I could push this pawn. Does this allow for some disastrous fork? Not that I observe. So let's continue pushing. And this looks like a reasonable outcome. As long as I don't... Well, if I do go over, they can drop a bishop. Hang on. If I go up, if they push one of these pieces here, my rook retreats, they drop a bishop. We could have some fun. It's been a long time since we had too much fun here, so let's let's vary it up a bit. Ah, right, this gold general is defended, and this pawn is hanging. So I have stepped headfirst into some exciting line, and I don't know the theory. Um, that said, I mean, can this... could this be good? Maybe. Um, where can this horse go if I attack it? Well, they can have more and more tactics, depending how I attack it and try to continue attacking it. Uh, but I think this is playable. I think I have pressure on this gold, which makes it difficult for them to do any sort of reasonable castle here. Um, they might exchange this bishop for a silver, but they don't. Uh, instead, they want my rook. I don't blame them. I don't know that a rook is the right piece for them to attack me right now. Um, so I drop my bishop on the wrong diagonal because I think I get some counterplay from this. Perhaps I'm very sorely mistaken. Uh, the only way for me to discover this really is to play it and see how it turns out. There's just too much to learn. So, yeah, my knight is under attack. I could move the gold over. They could retreat their rook. That looks okay. I could also push this pawn to defend the knight directly. Uh, they don't have a pawn drop just yet. That's kind of interesting. I don't know which way to go here. I push this pawn, it also makes it harder for them to counterattack me in various ways. Oh, but no, they could maybe attack the center pawn no, maybe slightly easier. I don't know. This looks interesting. So, yeah, we'll see how this ends up. Probably I've walked into some opening trap and I just don't recognize it yet. Um, but I don't know, this 
seems to catch my interest somehow. So, it can't be all bad. Oh. Thankfully, they don't have a silver... Well, even a silver drop there wouldn't have ended my day. Alright, I'm attacking this gold. And unless the king just hangs the gold, like, they're probably fine here. They'd have to do something pretty ridiculous for this attack to work. Um, but they fear it anyway, so I get to retreat with tempo. Um... I could sack here, or drop back there, and they could trap my rook. So this doesn't quite work that way. Um, let's go back and defend my king. So, yep, all hope of a peaceful game is lost. <laughs> uh, this is not a fork. Um, hmm. My gold continues to hang back here. If I push, they could exchange. I don't know that they should. Hmm. Looks tricky. If I bring up the silver... Uh, they exchange bishops, and then they take my pawn. And then my everything is hanging. It's not a great look. Alright, I'll take. Fine. So that's the tactic that just keeps on giving over and over again until I defend my gold. Um, now, fun point of interest, my other gold is also not defended. So, I have weaknesses. Mostly self-inflicted. Um... Gofun. I was going to drop a rook here, but this, well, it is interesting. Yeah, this is sufficiently interesting to do. Yeah, there are tactics, but I don't lose from any of these tactics here. So it's fine. Probably, oh, well, okay, they do. I misread this. Okay. Uh, I very badly misread that. All right, so what do we do now? Um, let's meet an attack with an attack. So my rook is lost for a pawn, but maybe I have some counterplay. Yep, let's take their dragon. They take my gold. Oh, they take with a horse. Interesting. Um... Hmm. What can I do? There's another fork that's upcoming. But our proverb is, don't run from a fork. So, how do we enjoy it? 
I don't know. Three minutes. This is kind of a mess. Is there a saying about running from two forks? Probably not. Okay, we're just going to take this here. They're going to drop this fork. Uh, I guess I actually have to block it this way. Despite, like, this really sucking. I couldn't find a different way forward, so... Backward I go. And then backward I go again. But, uh, this... I couldn't find anything better than that, so that's what I did. Um... I don't understand that move. Nifun. Shit, could have dropped it up here. And then this... Well, this doesn't go anywhere. But I'm trying to defend this point. I don't know that defending that point's going to matter, but it might. Um, even if I run... It might still matter that I defended this. Maybe they anticipated taking here with check. Alright, we take a bishop. Um... Hmm... Maybe I survive this? Probably not. But it's worth it's a chance worth taking. The chance that I survive here is a chance worth taking. Hmm. Early escape of the king is worth eight moves. So we escape early. <laughs> Screw it. This is probably right. I can't prove it, but it feels right. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
I debated dropping a gold, and instead I moved a gold. That might make a huge difference. I hoped it didn't, but it might. Or maybe it does, in a positive way, make a big difference. That was not smart. Or maybe it was. Maybe this is fine. Sanjibio. I don't know what to do. Let's promote this. Can't figure this stuff out quickly enough. Not that it ever should have happened to begin with, but... Now that we're here, we got to figure it out. Gosh darn it. Oops, can't take that. I have no defense, do I? I could have taken them gold. Thanks for the game. Alright, that's one loss down. Let's play another game. Good luck. I just cannot remember for the life of me how this goes. So here we go.
I mean, yeah, I did walk into a King Rook fork there. Um, but couldn't find any way other than risking that to make progress here. That's interesting. No, that doesn't win anything. Hmm. All right, I'll take your pawn. Sure, why not? Is this bad? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. You tell me. I've given a knight and a lance so I could get this pawn here. And perhaps even more than that if I can't read, but, um... Alright, so this pawn gives me initiative or something? I don't know. I sacked to do that. It looked kind of interesting. Um... Not sure I had anything more in mind than that. Uh, if I push, if they take, I can drop bishop and then escape the bishop. Uh, why the hell not? What's the worst that could happen after this? I mean, yeah, they could fork my rook and bishop. Sure. Is that so bad? Beats me. Alright, so I can get a horse. Um, it's not going to last, but... All right, we'll retreat back here as if we can keep both of these pieces. Oh, right. So, yeah, we intended to sack the rook the entire time. That's why we did this, right? We're not running from a fork. We're attacking. That's our story. It's not an easy story to keep consistent. Um, all right, fine. So they've got an armada of pieces, and we don't. There is one bright side of this, and that's that I don't have to listen to... Well, that's that I'm not any more hearing comments about which static rook or ranging rook is better. There's some tranquility in having no audience and no comments. Um, Alright, so they say don't run from a fork. Um, got one pawn in hand. And I am afraid to use it. Well, what's the worst that could happen? Let's take the pawn. I mean, every one of my pieces is hanging, sure. But what's the worst that could happen? Let's find out. Okay, they're attacking my gold general. Don't really feel like retreating my horse to defend it. 
So back it goes. Okay, our opponent gets a horse. Gofun. Um. Sure. I wonder. There's something I'm not understanding about this site. Maybe they thought this was their night. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. There's something like when my opponent gets an overwhelmingly winning position, my opponent tends to throw it. This happens game after game after game after game. That's it's just, I don't know, maybe it's encouraging that I'm not the only player that does that kind of throw. Um There's something universal about being able to throw a game, I guess. I, I'm not even going to win this, because my position sucks extremely badly, but... Uh, I guess it shows that we're all human. Alright, let's take that. Why not? Invites their king forward ever so slightly. I'll try to destabilize the shape here, or deform it, or whatever. Um. Perhaps I have better moves and I'm just not seeing them. Like, I have this bishop drop. This bishop drop attacks a gold general. That could have been interesting. Um, but yeah, opponents are just exceptionally good at defending against bishop drops in general. And somehow I just don't have the same sixth sense about how to make a position that resists every possible bishop drop that like my opponents just seem to easily uh, deflect whatever I throw at them but the minute I try to drop a bishop it just absolutely never works um, all right so Back our horse goes, defending against this knight fork. Um, that probably I should have defended against the previous turn, but didn't. Ah, there's a different knight fork. That's exciting. Alright, if I go back... I still... No, they don't have this pawn drop anymore. It, uh, what a mess. My king floats in the center. It'll be okay somehow. We've got a knight, and we don't know how to use it. They do have a rook drop. Well, no, they don't. They might. It's hard to say. Oh, okay. Um. It's kind of forcing the issue here. So they've completely resisted my bishop drop forever. I've grown impatient. So we're going this way. Um, this silver and this pin kind of forces me to take some kind of action, I think. Again, I could have missed some whopper of a tactic that completely decimates my position here, but I don't have time to think about it. So, boldly I march. Probably was not good to sack the bishop there. 
would have been much smarter to do silver takes instead. All right. Do not run from a fork, they say. But um, there's, other, there's other proverbs in this game too. Uh, let's not deny that. Nifun. I guess this... Well, okay, I've defended my horse. And there's possible shots that win a dragon if they're stupid or careless or forgetful or something. I'm flustered in case it's not obvious, and I apologize for poor use of language there. But... Um... Yeah, if they move the dragon carelessly, I could profit from that. They don't, so I do not profit. Um, hmm. hmm. Fine. I defend the only way that I recognize how, but it's going to cost me everything. Because they can drop a gold, and I can't... Oh, that's not a gold. I cannot resist. Anyway, I guess I should attack now, right? So that's an attacking move. Um, This is also looking like an attacking move. Maybe it works. I hope it works. Because I'm kind of running out of ideas here. for the game. It's a lucky win, but we take those. Let's play one more. Good luck. Well, that's fun.
Well, I am confused. Um, Interesting. There's a lot riding on this diagonal, isn't there? What if I block it? So I've kept my gold here because they've persisted in keeping the rook on this third file. I've had no reason to move this gold yet. So my rook is still cramped behind the silver. The silver's not moved for tactical reasons that I've had to read out every single turn. Um... All right, screw it. Show me what's up with this. I need to know. Why can't I simply do that? Maybe it is possible. All right. Um, but if I can do that... What the hell is going on? Push, push, takes, pawn drop, takes, takes. Like, I don't succeed in breaking that open. Um, Nanafun. I'd like to break through here, but that's not working either. I push pawn silver. Bishop retreats, pawn drop, glance takes. It's still no good. Yeah, I just fundamentally don't get what's going on here. It's not a bit annoying, but I don't know. Can I push this? So many times it's useful to sacrifice this pawn. Here... This might just be losing a pawn for no reason. I have no way of knowing or reading this out within the game time. Now if I push this edge pawn, pawn takes, lance takes. Like, I think this is interesting. I think I'm not just giving a second pawn for no reason.
All right, we've moved the issue point. Granted, they have this barreling down at my king now, so, like, my target is completely off target here. But, or rather, I don't know. This is just extremely fishy what I've done, but, um, like, given one, two, three moves, I could build a castle that can resist this bishop. Uh, but I've not built it yet. Hopefully that's not stupid. Again, I don't know. Feels like a waste of time, but I just can't find a constructive move here. Ah! Yep, my move was a waste of time. Okay, okay then. Um... Maybe this works. Really depends what we're aiming for. Uh, yeah, what I was aiming for was a bit crazy. Um, Okay, so I can pick up this pawn and get my rook over there. Maybe. Maybe not. Um. So knight takes gives them a strong attack, and I need a pawn in hand to evict the knight. Or I just need to play the pawn push and pray. That seems more fun. Let's just pray. Oh, wait, this work can just move up. I just lose a tempo for no reason. Other than I'm trying to activate my bishop, but this is not the right way to do that. Because they just moved the rook up. Sure, I could take a lance, they take a bishop, my gold is hanging, I have no continuation there. I could retreat if they attack my bishop. 
and this I hope is dicey, but it doesn't look dicey at all. Um, cheapers. Sampun. Let's take that. Finding constructive moves is challenging, but um, part of that's because my silver is hanging and my gold is hanging. So I offer this exchange so I could at least move the gold to a safe place before trying to initiate god knows what attack. But they might just promote the rook here, I take the knight, they take all my stuff, and who knows. I am threatening to take the pawn, then take the lance, but that takes two moves to bury my horse in the corner. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully after I take this, some kind of plan will make itself apparent. It's not easy. Okay, here's a way to activate the Rook. A Rook promotion is not worth an entire night, but I don't know. It's a tricky position. Um... Nifun. We drop back, we have a pawn in hand. Pawn in hand lets us hit the silver. If the silver retreats, we can attack the this dragon and then promote up here. But also we might just take a silver. I don't know. Where's my knight going? Let's make use of this pawn too. <laughs> this is another way to activate my rook. It's a bizarre way to activate it, but I couldn't find a way to promote it um, that would actually gain me any other advantage beyond just it being promoted. This way I've built a castle. Uh, that's silly. But it's my silly idea. Again, a silly idea, but what can we do?
20秒10秒。Thanks for the game. All right. So that marks three games for today. He very gradually, I don't know, try to avoid uh, the one Q to two Q demotion. Um, but perhaps in the future we'll, I don't know, we'll continue studying our games after the video and uh, see what discoveries we can make eventually we'll maybe hopefully start to get the hang of things and get positions out of the opening and middle game that aren't completely lost that's something to aspire to hope we enjoyed these games thanks for watching